hi guys and welcome again to this tutorial in this series of programming peak microcontroller with flow code in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to use an LCD display in flow code LCD displays are alphanumerical or even graphical displays which are frequently used in microcontroller based applications in this tutorial, we're going to look only at alphanumerical displays. This can display only letters, numbers, and special characters, but very limited in graphics. We will learn how to use the graphical display in future tutorials. There are many types of LCD devices on the market which come in different shapes and sizes. Some LCD have even up to 40 or even more character length with capabilities to display even several lines. To insert an LCD component, you can just go to the output group component and click on LCD. If you want a graphical LCD, then you can click on graphical LCD. In this case, we're just going to use an alphanumerical LCD. The default LCD is a 16 by 2 lines. This basically means that it can display up to 16 characters in two lines. You can change if you need a different type. You can just click on X properties. Then you can choose whatever you want. You, you have 8 by 1 which can display eight characters in one line we've got eight by two eight by four sixteen by one sixteen by two up to forty by two in this version of flow code okay in this case we're just gonna leave it at sixteen by two you can change the text size but this is just for simulation purposes text color background color let me leave it at gray and change the okay in the market there are parallel and serial lcds but the parallel ones are the most used because they are very cheaper compared to the serial lcds the most popular is the hitachi HD 44780 parallel LCD is the one that we're going to use in this illustration. In terms of connection to a microcontroller, you can click your LCD, click on connections properties, then you can choose on which port you're going to connect your LCD to. In our example, we're going to connect it to port B and choose which bit you're going to connect these this different data lines. In our example, we're going to leave the default data line 1, we're going to connect it to port B0 and so on. The RS, we're going to connect it to port B, bit 4 and the enabled on bit 5. Okay, just to make you, to give you a picture view of what we have just done, this is just a simulation of our circuit. As you can see, we've got four data lines because we're going to use it in four bits. In eight bits, then we're going to use all the data lines. In this case, we're just going to use it in 4-bit to save some pins of, of the microcontroller. D4, we're going to connect to B0, D5 to B1 and so on, the enabled to B5, the RS to B4. The RW is a read and write. If you want to read 
or write something to the LCD because we're not gonna need we're not gonna read anything to the LCD so we're just gonna put this bit to ground to save some pins of the microcontroller the VDD is a positive supply of the LCD and the VSS is the negative supply the VEE is the contrast you can just connect a variable resistor to change the contrast of the LCD. For most peak programming languages, the LCD often is one of the last things you learn as this is, as this is quite complicated to get working. However, in flow code, you don't need to know what is going on inside. All you have to do is to drag and drop some few icons on the flow chart and flow code will sort out the rest for you. We've got a component micro that we can use to do most of the things without even worrying what is going on inside. Double click click on LCD display if we had more than one LCDs you could see them listed here because we've got only one the first micro is start this is the first micro that is used to initialize the LCD this micro should be used before using any other micro you can click OK and this is going to initialize the LCD the next function to use is the clear if you want to clear the display you just click on clear okay the next one is print as key this is gonna print in as key characters at the current position when the character have been printed the cursor position is gonna automatically advance characters can either be AS key character code or a string of one or more characters surrounded by double code or a standard AS key character surrounded by a single code. Let's say I want to print the 8 sign. I can just put it in a single code. Okay. And click. Sorry, I'm supposed to put single code. Okay, the next one is command. This send the command signal value to the LCD display. The next one is a cursor. If you want to move the LCD from the first line to the bottom line or third line or from the third line to the first line or move the cursor left and right to whatever position you want then you can use the cursor function let's say if I want to move the cursor to this the beginning of the second line you can just put in the x axis 0 and in the y axis 1 then my cursor will be moved to the beginning of the second line The next one is print number. This one prints a number that is supplied. It has to be an int or a byte number. If I want to print 10, I can just print 10. And the LCD is going to display 10. I can, if I want to print an hexadecimal number, I can just start with 0x then put whatever I want to put let's say 1 in hexadecimal if it's a binary number then I'll need to start with 0b and put whatever number it is when the character has been printed the cursor position is automatically advanced to the next position. 
The next one is print string. This one can print a string of characters to the LCD. You can either select a variable or you can even directly put your string surrounded by double code. Let's say I want to print hello world. You can just put some double code hello hello world. What is important to note is the length of your string must not be longer than the length of the character that your LCD can, is able to display. Otherwise, some of the characters will not going to be displayed, will not going to be seen on the LCD. You have to scroll left or right to see everything. The next one is scroll display. This scroll the display data left or right by, by number of positions that you're going to specify in num position byte. If the direction byte is 0 or L, then the LCD display is going to scroll to the left. Let's say if, for example, I want to scroll left by two positions, what I need to do is to type L surrounded by single quote and 2 okay then this display is gonna scroll left by two positions if I wanna scroll right then I can type right, R or even R in capital letter then it's gonna scroll right by two positions The next one is clear line, which can clear an entire line of the display and then return the cursor back to the start of the line. The RAM, the RAM write can be used if you want to write something into the RAM of the LCD. Okay, let us create a simple program to display hello world on the first line of the lcd and student companion on the second line of the lcd what i need to start with is to initialize my lcd first then display string Hello world. Okay. Then I can shift my LCD to the second line. Kesa zero one. Okay. Then display. print string. I can do the same as I did student companion and a while one loop. First run my simulation it's gonna be hello world student companion okay i can also use a variable instead of typing my string directly i can say create a new variable test can use it test equals to student companion Then instead of writing my expression, I can just use my variable. And the result is going to be the same. That's all for this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive more updates. 
I will see you in the next video. Thank you.